are geared up to get on with the Does This Rev Your Engine part of the program. And producer Rick, welcome back. Hey, what's going on? Hey. I'm born to get my engine red, so let's do this, please. All right, so let's get to it. Like the man said, we're starting it all off with our first topic. We're going straight for the clicks, all right? Dog driving a scooter to pull at your heartstrings. And she even has her own helmet. Oh, Take a look at that. Look at that She's absolutely doggo. loving it. And oh, no more helmets. Hey. Where's what the happened? protection with great shades, man? I gotta say, that's the coolest dog. Man's best friend, man's best co pilot. So, yeah, it res my engine. It's adorable. <laughs> if my dog did this, I mean, they're distracted by anything, so God help us if we pass a tennis court. <laughs> but that's another story. Yeah, it also revs my engine because puppies, please. Puppies. Is he a puppy? That was a pretty big I dog. I don't care. Puppies, dogs, all the same thing to me. They all okay. rev my engine. But um, safety first, I will always say. So mm-hmm. part of me also wants to say helmet on. So put your helmet on, dog. And maybe don't drive a scooter because you can't do that. Okay, next up, prepare yourself for your new favorite sport. It's called Rotary Tiller Racing. And its world championships took place in Arkansas at the Purple Hole P, P- Festival last weekend. In the words of the event organizer, Bill Daly, souped up garden tillers going as fast as they can down a 200-foot track of plowed ground. Does this drive your engine, Rick? I, I'm i lost. What exactly is a tiller? I don't understand. Is it a lawnmower of some sort? You've never tilled anything in your life? No, tiller. I hardly know her. Oh, oh, my goodness. It's called manual labor, Rick. And you, it's... You till the soil to get ready for the planting. Yeah, look. Come on. I mean, it looks like the legs are doing all the work. I heard the top prize of this was $1,000 for the fastest person. Yep. They usually complete the course under 10 seconds, but if that's 10 seconds, I'm not watching. Thanks. Appreciate Come it. Come on. Absolutely, yes. This is amazing. Uh, I guess. If You're I, not I amazed guess. by this. No, at all. They I mean, cannot, it's just the lawnmower. They cannot go past 50 horsepower. They have two categories, either stock engines or modified engines. And, yeah, you win 1000 bucks. Right, well, on. next time I'm cutting it's my amazing. grass, I hope someone runs out with metal and gives me $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta beat them first. Okay, Danny Pedrosa back in the news with promises of news. He's announced yet another press conference to talk about his future plans. To recap, he called a gathering of media minds ahead of the Catalan Grand Prix, but only to announce nothing to announce. What a then, jip. Exactly. Then he was asked about his future in Aston last weekend. Nothing to report. Now another presser next week, Thursday before Saxon Ring. Let's recap again. At this moment. Uh, I have no news uh, to... No, I know there is uh, a lot of people waiting and um, wanting to know some information, but unfortunately not yet. I can't I can give any, any different news from, from what I already said in, in Barcelona. Who holds a press conference to announce they have no news? No. You know why? Because as a producer of the show, we had it all centered around that press conference. <laughs> we did. And it came out right before we went on air. I have no news. Twice. Who holds a press conference to do that? Unbearable, though. No way, Danny Petrosa. No way. Yes, I just I want to know what he has to say. I think we all know what he's going to say. Well, stop teasing me and yeah, say exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. So just, just, but maybe, you know, because it was such a flub the first time, just send out a press release. But it is Danny Pedrosa, so... Okay, fine. 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 Fool me once. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on you. <laughs> That's not I think. <laughs> okay, next up. Back to, back to pulling of heartstrings. Here's the story of the cutest kid ever making national news with his act of unbelievable kindness. Take a look at this. Oliver, six years old. Yeah, he's making people smile all over the place. Dressed like a little police officer, gets on his motorized police bike, hands out hugs and flowers to people in different nursing homes. Not to mention smiles. Well, I mean, that's what you think. Uh, what do you think about this, Terry? I'll let you go first. Come on! How th- how would this not rev my engine? It's adorable. Well, we need more kids like I this. I have some pretty sad news for everybody watching, okay? This does not rev my engine because... He's got a bad oh, boy like sign, all right? This. Check this out. Well, look look at this guy. Look what he's really about. <laughs> just lounge around eating donuts, popping Woo! wheelies on, on the job. Can't you get arrested for impersonating an officer? <laughs> oh! Look at this. That's, that's not police nice. brutality. You know, uh, the kid's a good kid, but I mean, no. It doesn't rev my engine just because I know the real side of him, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. It's a good kid. Stay in school, group. Yeah, yeah. Stay in school. Please do. Okay. <laughs> Honorable mention time. It's an oldie but a goodie. You probably remember this from five years ago. World's first non-assisted backflip by a mini accomplished in the French Alps off an eight-meter ramp by rally driver Guerlain 
Shishari. Mm. Not sure I mentioned that. I an easy said that to right, say. but uh, a complete 360 off that ramp lands it. Oh, into the right, right. You know, my first car was a Mini Cooper turbocharged. I love the Mini Cooper. This does rev my engine, I'm going to say absolutely mm -hmm. yes. Yep. That's cool. Yep, that yep, is yep. cool, any way you look at it. But what's the point? Why, what are we doing? What have we accomplished by doing this? Why When not? am I going to need to do a backflip? I'm not Ethan Hunt. This is a Mission Impossible, okay? <laughs> Whatever. All right. Rick's Rants. <laughs> Rick's Rants. A new feature coming up on Pit Lane. Yeah, you better believe it. Thanks.